good morning everyone so we have met again to talk about interesting topic so today there are two small dumb friends so we are going to talk about the merits so i know the words is very familiar with you you know the word merits so before i start i would like to introduce something so always i i see the the question that you are raising the i saw something so most of the time the problem is arising regarding the buddhism we don't know what is dhamma what is literature uh, what is the right and rituals most of the people think that the all collection is dhamma right we'll see each and every religion has several parts normally first one is right and rituals right now in buddhism right and rituals are included bodhi puja pirit chanting those are not the the bodhi puja is not the dhamma right we conduct bodhi puja for get blessing as as well as no need to understand the verses when you ch- chant the pirit you cannot understand that all the ch- chanting even though the you can get the blessing by chanting no need to understand but dhamma is need to understand right that's the difference the right and rituals no need to understand do you know the the spell magic spell no you may have heard there are some person who uh, the gave the spell right you are very appreciate for this spell om namo right you heard om the first word and last word the middle path is not here but you question what is that no ne- you you don't go to question for him what did you do you the only thing you need that get blessing you are not going to ask what what did you say and eh? what's the verse you say you are not going to ask right likewise when you conduct bodhi puja or parichanti no need to to understand all the chanting all the verses right the only thing that you are going to do should do pay your proper attention that's enough right for the right and rituals but when we come into the the next point i am talking about the each and every religion included right and rituals right even the even the buddhism also <coughs> right and rituals then uh, the literature right in buddhism also has a huge literature we have heard about the jataka stories the buddha's previous stories if we go into a question about the jataka stories it's a problem right you are uh, you are engaging with the problems because all the stories the stories are invented and untrue sometimes right that's why it's called fiction there are some stories they are invented and they are called fiction you may have heard the the jataka story previous birth story sasa jataka it's related uh, the you know when you see the uh, when you look at the moon you can see a animal what is who is that rat right yeah right the according to the history according to the, according to the legend the in the previous birth the buddha the bodhisattva has sacrificed his life for something then the the king of the god satisfied and overjoyed he painted the 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 image of the rabbit the buddha was rebirth as a rabbit right so as a gratitude the king of the god painted the in the moon the rabbit even today you can see the rabbit when you look at the moon but it's a fiction it's a create we can we if someone the craze question bante how he paint the right i cannot answer right Th- those question are wrong i cannot give the answer when you ask a question there are some question are wrong question no one can answer the even the buddha was silent at, at some, some times 
just because the questions are wrong. When questions are wrong, no need to answer. The thing that we have to do, be silent. Right. Then we can come into the point, the Dhamma. Dhamma is very important. In, in every religion, more or less, there is included Dhamma. In Buddhism, we have a huge Dhamma, right? To purify our mind. Dhamma is for us to purify our mind. No, not for the get blessing or not for the grant visa. Some people come and uh, to <laughs> tell us to bless them to get visa, get pass the exam. We cannot do th that using the Dhamma. The Dhamma is for us to for what? purify our mind. By purification, the purifying our mind, we can make our life beautiful, make our life easy without wicked mind. When we are in the, when we have a wicked mind, we are burning, right? Always we are harbored with bad thoughts, right? The bad thoughts are when arising our mind, the we are burning, right? You, you sometimes you may feel that, right? The lust and anger. See that when you have the anger, how burning you are within yourself, right? Right. So, those thoughts can be eradicated by understanding them. We can purify our, our mind by understanding them. So, we should understand that uh, the Dhamma is for us to, for what? Purify our mind. So, if you have a question regarding the Dhamma, we have ability to answer it. Because Dhamma is clear. The beginning, the middle and end. No, the mistakes or something. Even in a single letter, the preach by the Buddha. The Buddha has never uttered even one letter without meaning, with, with meaningless, right? All have a meaning, right? So, the everything Buddha has taught us, the taught the, the preachers, utter us, everything has a meaning. So, no uh, the question regarding the Dhamma. So, Dhamma means the basic teaching of the Buddha, dependent origination, poor, poor, poor noble truth, eightfold path, right? <coughs> Eight noble, right? Eight noble truth, right? So, we, we don't have, if you have a question regarding the Dhamma, we can answer for that. I just remind for that uh, because uh, when you ask a question, you should understand, I, I'm going to ask a question regarding the Dhamma, regarding the literature, right? When you ask a question with the literature, I give you an answer with the literature, right? Okay. Okay, now we will come to the topic, what is merit, right? Merit. Merit, it is, uh, you know, in the Punya, the punya. In Pali, Punya. In English, we say merit. People think that to earn, to generate merit, we need money. Do we need money? It's essential composite having money to do merit, earn merit. Do we need? What do you think? What's your idea? No. To earn m m merit, sir, Generate merits, we don't need money. Not essential, not compulsory. If you have money, we can, it support for us. But no compulsory, right? Then, but uh, the people who have merit, uh, not the, the money, by using money, they go to the hell. Right, right? They, they have money, but they spend the money for go to the hell. But uh, we can go to the heaven without money, right? But people don't understand this, right? So during the Buddha's time, so the people who were living in that time, just giving something, a small piece of thing, right? Eh? Or even uh, otherwise, the small thought, right? They have gone the heaven, right? Whatever the merit, merit is uh, the interpret the definition given by the Buddha Chittam Punatiti Punya Chittam Punatiti Punna Punya the happiness in the mind right when we do something if we 
generate in the happiness in us. It should be a good thing. When we do a good thing, when we come the when good thoughts come to our mind, that's that is that good thought. Good thought is the uh, <coughs> punya. And there are two words: merit and demerit. Merit and demerit. The merit and demerit are collectively called. The both are called karma. But usually, in general society, when you face an unfortunate incident, the 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 miserable incident, you say, "Oh, it's my karma. Oh, it's my karma." If if it is a bad thing, you say it is karma. That's wrong. The good and bad both are collectively called karma, right? When you when you win a lottery. If you won a lottery, you would you say that ah oh, it's my karma? No, you say the word lucky. It's my lucky, not your karma. But karma means the merit and demerit, the both result, right? Merit is a reward, demerit is a punish, right? Punish. So we should clearly understand. The words, because in English uh, there are so many words to interpret, the introduce the merit. So word by word we should understand what's the difference. There is slightly difference, subtle, very subtle. So we should understand. As an example, uh, as a monk, uh, if we speak loudly, people used to say, "Oh, it's sin." Uh, it should you bante shouldn't speak loudly. If we walk past, they hurt. They get hurt. Oh, it's a sin. Uh, if someone drive a car, oh, they they say oh, it's a sin. If we talk with the uh, uh, the lady or someone else, oh, it's a sin. The the people have a lot of correction because not having the good understanding what is sin, what it the wrong. The, see the words. There are several words. Demerits, sin, wrong, mistakes, offence, crime, minor crime, serious crime. You know, serious. Crime. It's not written in here. So, demerit is the result. Demerit is the bad consequences, right? Sin is a deed. The bad deed is called sin, right? Ah, uh, sin, uh, sin, wrong. Wrong means so wrong mistakes, offence, crime. What's the difference between among these words? All are similar, same idea given to you. Wrong mistake. Mistake means minor problem, right? We didn't we we didn't do that deliberately. Mistake. Right, but when we take when we did a mistake, people call oh, it's a sin. That's wrong, right? We should understand here. I want you to understand the sin and not mistake. Mist we, normally we know mistake. What's mistake? It's not the the big word, but offence and crime and wrong, right? Normally a crime or offence uh, is promulgated by the government. Right, government breaking law or go against the law is called crime, crime or offence. Right, if we went against the law, we have to pay a fine or compensation or otherwise imprisonment, eh? taken into custody. Right, uh, the, if we have if we have done uh, the serious crime, we will have to uh, the death. The sentence death to death, right? So we should clearly understand this word. What is sin? What is wrong? Right? All things are not sin. So you have feel relaxed because you have the 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 space to behave. If we believe that everything is sin, the even the mistake also, even the offence, crime. There are some crime. They are not sin. There are some sin. They are not crime or offence. 
I will explain. Then we, you, when you, you will understand. You say, we, we will say, the when the the mosquito, you know, the mosquito come and instinct you. Then you, the slap. What will happen? The mosquito play away. No, no time to play away. He dead. The police come and taken into custody. You. No, why? In the police law or constitutional law, government law is not included. The killing a mosquito is as a crime or offence, right? That's why. Then it is sin, right? No, killing a mosquito is a sin, not wrong, right? According to the, here, I mentioned the wrong means. Go against the law. Right? Understand? Right. When you're killing a mosquito, the police come and don't take you into custody. Right? Then, if you drive your vehicle without license, is it a sin or wrong offense? Offense. Offense. If you go drive your vehicle without license, is it a sin? No, then there is a difference between sin and offense, right? This is a long story. I will explain. You will, I, I know you will be real interested in this, right? Because uh, now you, the earlier, you, previous you kill a um, mosquito. Now you kill the big one, deer. Here, are there here, deer here? Okay, right? Now you kill a deer. When you kill a deer, you police come and take it to custody. It's a crime? No, because it's no in law. Cow? If you kill a cow? No. Because no. When we are going to the big animal, it's a sacred is there a, the heritage animals here? Elephant all here also heritage. In Sri Lanka also heritage. We cannot kill elephant. We can kill uh, deer, any any animal, uh, right? So we cannot kill elephant. If you kill a elephant, what will happen? You must go to uh, charge. You must be in charge, right? The, you must have to go to the jail or somewhere, right? So what's the difference? The law is difference according to the the size of the animal. Is it similar? Ah, have, uh, even though the law is different, the crime, the offense is different, but sin is same. Even you kill a mosquito, even you kill a deer or elephant, sin is similar. No difference to each animal according to size. But law, I'm not, to, n n not right? I don't misunderstand. I'm not talking about the the, the government law. I, I want you to explain the, the between difference between sin and wrong, right? So the law is not similar to everyone each and right. It's different to the the caste, race, right? The wealth, the power, right? Even though now. Uh, you think that when you make a mistake, you go to the police. There should be proofs also, evidence also, to be proved whether you are the culprit or good one. If you, if you really, sometimes you may have done the mistake, but if you can hide the evidence, you can be released. But uh, when you commit a crime, when you commit a, the sin, you can hide it. Whether you hide or not, you have to be affected, right? It's, a, it's the bad consequences. But in government law, according to government law, we cannot, we can hide the, the evidences if you have the power, right? That's the differences, right? So here, the sin and the, which one is then powerful? Sin is powerful. Sin is reasonable for everyone, even clergy, even the the blame lay people, right? And the one, the other thing, the other thing you should understand 
there is no two thing for clergyman for lay person sin is sin right people people <coughs> think that uh, uh, the monk has bante has another thing the pe the lay people have another sin no the pe all human beings have same sin right same sin but the the, the we have another conduct the another discipline discipline is not when we break a discipline it is not a sin right it's a wrong right it's, it's a offense just like you uh, driving a without license it is a sin no in the same way if we break or commit a mistake it's not a sin right the sin are common for everyone right but people misunderstand that uh, when we do something when we do if bante a monk do does the same thing that lay person do pe people think that sin right there is no sin like that right sin is similar for everyone the merit is similar for everyone right understand right now we are going to next point <clears throat> no one can flee away run away avoid stay away right i just use the words for to familiar with you so we cannot uh, the ah uh, i want you to understand when you do a good thing you wish something even though when you do a bad thing do you wish you kill an animal you stole something you conduct a bad uh, mis sexual inter in intercourse with someone else and you lie by telling a lie you wish something no Have, even though you offer to the dana for sang or someone else uh, by you wish something eh? in in rebirth Uh, get me eh i wish i would have been gone to the i would go to the heaven you wish but committing a bad thing you never wish that means you never get the result even though you didn't wish whether you wish or not uh, the you get the same result right but uh, people are used to wish the result by doing good things only good things right now you should understand whether you expect or not you gain the result you get the result right no need to expect right i am doing good things then i wish i would go to the heaven but we never expect by do we 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 are silent when we have engage in the wrong thing if we have done something bad thing we never say anyone anyone i did this we become silent but when we uh, when we do something good thing we tell it person to person right right with courage courageously right so in teaching of the buddha there are so many places we can see the buddha has mentioned the power of the merits so this is a one <coughs> verse idanandati pechanandati khata punyo bayatta nandati punyam me khadanti nandati bhiyo nandati sugati ngato the person who uh, acquire a lot of merit by doing good things he re he rejoices in this life he happy become happy in this life and hereafter but um, next birth also right that's that's the uh, meaning of this stanza as well as the merit is similar word for happiness merit is a similar words for happiness if we have more merits abundance of merits we can be happy we can be happy more right as well as the merits uh, that we have accumulated no one can destroy right even a blood even a rain even a, the, what you call the natural disaster nothing can destroy it right as well as there are 
three main meritorious action right dhana sila bhavana dhana sila bhavana so dhana means generosity you know the when you offer something you should have a good intention right we can give anything what you have but there are there are three person the the generous person there is someone who offers something that he doesn't want the used things he offer dana das there is a there is a person uh, he offers something the thing that he has already he has similar he also consumed the, those things right and there is a, uh, another person who offer uh, who offer the things that he haven't but he earn and offer to others uh, that's great because not having consumed himself he offer to others that is the generous uh, three, the by doing three we can acquire merit but if you can some make someone happy whether whether you don't have it if you haven't having not, not having it you can if you can make someone happy it's great right so sila is morality sila means morality this is the ma main three meritorious action so sila means morality it's a practice last day we talk about the sila morality right how much should we practice something i i i told you a word to keep in your mind what is the that is a con preposition right how much should we practice something until until our job is successful there is no there's no point stop it in the middle right it's useless we can start we can end but it's very too difficult to maintain sustain right so let's take a moment to uh, review the what are the things that under the dana so under the dana comes charity we can do <coughs> charity as well as sharing of merits hmm? sharing of merits and rejoice in others merits this overcomes jealousy and selfishness ah uh, the end of the the we has mentioned here the result uh, we by giving by being generous uh, we can get avoid the jealousy and selfishness uh, so by acquiring merits we we collect it right by doing meritorious action uh, it's helpful to destroy the the roots of the bad things right loba dvesha moha loba means the greedy dvesha means hatred and moha means delusion the delusion is the avidya the similar word delusion mula delusion the avidya not having the knowledge right we all are engaged with the bad things not having the knowledge right so we see the whether you have money or whether you have or not money you can rejoice the merit you can acquire merit charity sharing of merit if someone do the merit he can share with others that's why when uh, when after we offer or uh, practicing something we offer uh, we uh, transfer the merit for beloved one your parents your neighbors your right you the person who closely associated right as well as the you can rejoice in others merit now you think that there is a person who rich person he has conduct a big program ceremony right punya punya kam right so you cannot conduct that type of ceremony, ceremony right then what you can do uh, you normally say sadhu by saying sadhu what would you expect you rejoice the merits 
right? That's the in uh, symbolized by saying sadhu, right? By saying sadhu, you can rejoice others' merits. The merits can be transferred mind to mind, right? But it is invisible, right? We cannot believe. There are some, the, the, in modern society, the person, the, the materialistic person, right? They believe only thing, the, they can, the, the, the thing that we, they can see, right? They can see the, the, for their naked eyes, but uh, sin or the merits or we cannot see our naked eye. That means there is nothing merit, there is nothing called merit. If we cannot see the merits with our naked eye, that means there is nothing merit. No, there is something called merit, even though it is invisible. Now, do you feel that you are aging now in this moment? Do you feel? Do you feel now? No, we don't feel it now. We don't think about that. Do you feel the your breath, inhale and exhale? Right, now, when I remind you, you feel it. Otherwise you feel it, you breathe. No, we have to focus that, right? But each and every moment we are getting old, but we don't feel it. But when we pass a month, two months, when we, the, the figure change, we can understand, ah, I have been getting old, right? Uh, otherwise we cannot feel, right? So each and every moment we uh, spend something. Each and every moment uh, we spend something. What's that? Uh, when, you, when, you, when you ask a question, I answer. But when I ask a question, you never answer. <laughs> eh? Why? Why? <laughs> By giving answer, I can understand that the thing that I tell you is uh, understand, right? Uh, if you can, you can respond me in, by nodding also, eh? <laughs> right. Your, your smile make me happy, right? So throughout the Dhamma sermon, this mm, smile smoothly, <laughs> right? Right. Then we. Uh, that, that we will come to that point later. So under seal uh, comes morality, paying respect and providing service in helping others. This overcome attachment and anger. Morality. Morality, paying respect. People used to uh, get something and acquire something. People used to expect something. If, as example, when you are in relationship, you expect. You are not trying to, what? To give other person. You always try to expect respect, love, caring, you expect. But you should not try, you shouldn't try, to, you don't try to give it, right? The, according to the Buddhism, according to the law of universe, uh, what you give is what you get. What you, you, you yes, yeah, right? Yeah. So if you want respect, if you want to love, if you want to attraction, if you want to admiration, what would you do? You have to admire. I will tell you a secret eh, to get attracted with people and get influence and what you call the the caring of others, right? So if you want to the. <coughs> At, uh, the caring or attention or something, you can use these tips, right? Which, what is that? So, when you, 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 you wearing beautiful, you wearing beautifully, and if you, if you, if, if someone come to you, come to you, he wearing a, what, wristwatch or necklace or something, thing, thing. Even though it is, it's not beautiful, you can say, oh, where did you buy this? Eh? It's not a lie or something, but you can make someone happy. 
by making someone happy, you can get rewards. It's, you can always, you try to appreciate, not when you appreciate uh, the, the li when telling lies, uh, they can feel it. But you should do this at the beginning by pause. Try this until two, uh, two weeks, you will get more result. Always try to, when someone see, don't try to do this same, say, again and again for the same person, but you try to get, do this uh, the do this as a habit when when you came across a person at uh, accidentally you can admire him respect him to admire his something his uh, hair or some uh, his uh, the 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 thing that he or she wearing you can admire uh, where did you buy this how wow it's nice right then she or her him get the the happiness become happiness right so you can win their heart you can win their with, with uh, it is the easy way to win other people other people's heart right if you don't admire or respect or uh, others uh, if you people are very lazy to uh, the uh, admire other person respect to other to express the, the their their physical beauty Right? So, the, you, today onwards, you must try to do something that you, you can express your gratitude to others, as well as respect, right? You are nice, you are a nice person, a good. Use these words. Then you get automatically, you win, win the people. The people will be surround yourself, right? With good people. They will also admire. By see the see the difference. When someone admire us, we automatically we inspire. No, we get motivated. So if you want to get that bless, what would you do? You want to share with others what you want. Not share in the things that you want. Never come to you those things. Right. So if you want to something, that that's the way the the way we can make this world beautiful, right? You should, you wish something, what you want, and you should share with others, right? Then, uh, by practicing sila, we can overcome attachment and anger. Under the bhavana, you know, the meditation, uh, the, it's not the, the, it's the uh, one, one position. We can meditate by listening to the Dhamma. Meditation means focusing on one thing, the awareness. When you listen to the Dhamma, teaching the Dhamma, eh, it straighten one's view, this overcome delusion and wrong view. So, under the meditation, there are listening to Dhamma also included to the uh, meditation, as well as teaching the Dhamma. By teaching, by preaching Dhamma to you, I get what? Blessing, merit I acquire. By listening to Dhamma, you acquire merit because the merit is purification of our mind. Eh? Merit is a similar word for happiness. When you listen to Dhamma, you make your, your mind happy. And by preaching, I enjoy myself because I, I, I render service. I make the people beautiful, their heart beautiful, right? So, by doing those th things, committing those things, good things, we acquire merits. So, this is the main three way. way. And there are other ways, charity, morality, mental culture, bhavana, apachayana. We talked about these things earlier, uh, apachayana, respect. Uh, other things are included to the main three categories, dana, sila, bhavana, right? So, service in helping others. Uh, then sharing merit with others, patidana, rejoicing in the others, patanumodana, preaching and teaching the Dhamma, listening to the Dhamma, Dhamma Desana, as well as straighten the one's wrong views. So if you can, there are some people you offer something or you are engaged with good things, there are some people that they persuade you, they motivate you not to do that. There are some, the Michaditi people, Michaditi means wrong views, right? They are Michaditi. They try to what? 
now you 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 may that is like a drunken person the people who used to, you are used to smoke or drink they try to other people to their culture influence are ah, influence ah, the the majority people they influence others to not to do good things there is no you you are not getting um, by worshiping buddha by worshiping your parents they say that's wrong they are majority the serious sin the most you, no, normally you have heard phayu kamma those are the serious kamma but the last one if you are mitcha ditti that is the serious kamma the buddha has ever taught keep in your mind if you are mitcha ditti until until you realize by yourself i am mitcha ditti i want to change my mind until you you change your mind you are mitcha ditti if you uh, dead within the wrong view mitcha ditti definitely you go to the hell hell means not the bad you will have to expect the miserable life you cannot avoid it until you get avoid the mitcha ditti right that is the serious karma normally you have heard the phayu karma those are serious karma if you have committed even one this definitely you go to the the hell right right so what are the five kam hurting uh, killing mom it's it's a, it's a in a sing, single word the uh, english uh, maturity or something uh, killing a mom if you kill your mom you cannot get avoid right that kam definitely they will affect even though you are arahat you uh, you end this sansara by affecting that karma you remember the mugala tero bande mugala right even though he was a arahant he had to be affected the bad karma he has he had done in his past life he he kill his parents right mother and father both by pretending that do you know this story ha eh? he had the wife eh she persuaded he to kill their parents they are very they are blind so the mugalan uh, he they, he take them to in the forest and he pretend that uh, thieves come and beat them so even though see the affection of parents uh, that story the mugalan the, the, at that time he was not mugalan young boy but the parents say not the mugalan say um, mother and father the thieves come and are going to uh, beat us then parent doesn't know anything because they they are blind they say then you go you go and hide doesn't matter they come and kill us see the parents affection right so that's the point there right uh, right the then uh, killing mother killing father if you have done this serious karma you have to be affected even though you are arahant killing mother killing father then killing arahant killing arahant not to do this right then the wound the buddhas uh, if someone try to wound not trying to you should try, wound the buddha who did this mistake this is not a mistake this serious come who did this devadatt right you know right then then the the scheme of the, if you try to quarrel there are some person they try to quarrel the sangha sangha means not a, me and my friend the two not two bantes quarrel with right you can slander and telling lies eh you can squirrel two monks that's not the idea if you quarrel the sangha sangha means the whole community two two groups if you quarrel it's a bad karma right those five karma definitely you will be affected right so there is a, another stanza ma 
අප්පමඤ්ඤේත පහපස්ස නමන්තං ආගමිස්සති උදබින්දු නිපාතේන උදකුම්බෝපි පූරති පූරති බාලෝ පහපස්ස තෝක තෝකම් අචින්තනම් අචීනම් right so we, are, the people they think that uh, when you do something small things the merit is also small right so here uh, we should not consider the merit or demerit as small why the by drop drop by drop the water jar or pot will fill right like that's the meaning right so if you commit uh, the something small uh, wrong day by day if you do this uh, what would you you are the demerit bank will increase what would what should you do you should do your merit bank should be increased right the rebirth is taken place according to our merits right rebirth next birth is based on our the previous life merit right if you have accumulated lot of merits in this lifetime you don't need to hesitate next life why you would get a better life more than this right i will like to talk about the benefits after you are going to get the, the after death later i will discuss eh the, then you will you are you will be not a prey to death right now you a prey to death i will explain then you 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 don't need to uh, a prey to now you a prey no i'm also a prey <laughs> <laughs> right right no no i after explaining to you i am also never afraid right so why we are different each other see the each other the face and figure we are different different faces different as well as within ourselves the different knowledge eh huh? different talents eh huh? so if we are similar we must have the different skill different talents and uh, different abilities right and the the figure also should be same some are complexion eh? some are not ugly there is no word that call ugly no one should use the ugly there is no person every each and every person even one thing also very beautiful with the eyes with the smile hair see the each other face when even one thing also very pretty right so each and every one have something special everyone have something special right then why we are different there's a reason without reason because the everything cause and effect we cannot change the effect right this is the this two word is called dependent origination right cause and effect right so we cannot change the effect but when effect something we hesitate we sad and sometimes we get happy if it is a good thing there are two things cause and cause and effect we should understand we cannot change the effect but we can change the causes right now you think i will explain it if you want to achieve something you can create the causes to be needed for the effect right that's possibility that potential potentiality we have right so that's why the buddha has said that we are the responsible so we can change the causes to the good way or bad way by changing the causes we can change the effect otherwise we should not try to change the effect by changing effect we cannot change the causes right by changing the causes we can effect right everything right this is the the, the universe theory so the dialogue between buddha and subha the there was a one young man who want he wanted to meet the buddha and ask 
why bante the peoples are different there are there are person there are some person are beautiful some are ugly some are knowledgeable some are fools no and some are the the good health some are why well, uh, the the lack of health right eh? uh, likewise so what's the difference the buddha advised because the uh, kamma satte vibhajati the kamma has been divided the people we are divided by the kamma then why, what is the kamma now, now you must have idea at the beginning i merits and demerits not kamma means not demerits eh? don't miss understand kamma means demerits and merits Th- that has been yes that's uh, right that just like a scale right uh, if something very heavy, heavy uh, this will be affected for us uh, right so the the reason was uh, the kamma satte vibhajati kamma has been divided the people eh? Eh? so if we have done in our past past time more killing animals or people right so if we have engaged bad thing we cannot live long right the the health is low right and we get sick more and more and we affected uncured diseases like cancers right right cancer uh, there are some diseases uh, they are uncured everyone not affected those things but there are some person right we cannot we, they are the responsible for that right we don't know whether we will affect or not but those are kam kam karmic diseases right if you if you want to the know the about the more about the karmic diseases you can refer the girimananda sutta in girimananda sutta there are 10 karmic diseases right you can refer it so as well as the the everything not i am not telling that everything happened just because of kamma kamma is one reason but kamma is has a majority part right majority part right so everything that we have we we uh, that we have gained by the depo- uh, everything that we have now you have you think that you have a beautiful family you have uh, intimate the wife intimate husband right closely uh, if you have children they are obedient you should not think that they have gained by, by yourself without reason right by default or by chance you haven't gained nothing by chance everything has a cost everything has a cost if you are pretty if you are knowledgeable if you are live healthy the everything has a cost you spend every at each and every moment what's that that is merits each and every moment the, the that's winkle your eyes right each and every moment uh, you spend your merit and you acquire merit right you think uh, uh, the moment you end uh, spend your merit what would you happen the moment you stop the spending merit what would you happen you will die right the merits we, we just because of merits we are alive right so we haven't get anything we have not acquired anything by default or by chance everything has a cost right that's something interesting something now you think that you are living in a, a house it is a rent house right so if you cannot pay this uh, what you call the rent uh, for this month you can postpone it to next month right no <laughs> no <laughs> but sometimes it depends right <laughs> right first point is uh, talking and if you are very uh, capable to talk there are some people they, they can speak clear the attractively they can they speak like the to to kid they can they speak just like they can give the kidney eh? they can give the heart the, the, the part there are two there are some the things they have we have two they try to speak like uh to 
I can give to one for you. They speak like that, right? So they, they, that type of people can postpone the rent, right? <laughs> because their ability. Uh, that's also they have been give, gained the merits, right? The ability to speak to others, to influence, right? Now, anyway, now if you cannot the pay the rent this month, you can talk and you can uh, postpone it to next month. But uh, if you cannot spend the merits for this moment, this this moment, what would you happen? Your lifetime is over. Right? Right. Get, you don't get upset, eh? The, I told you, I, by listening Dhamma or something, you must be enlightened. Right? Through the happiness, you must go to the enlightenment. Right? If you listening, if you, by listening Dhamma, if you get feel, anger, ill will, or with some braces, some, that's not the Dhamma. The, when, when we listen Dhamma, our mind becomes purified and happy, enjoy. With enjoyment and understanding, we should listen Dhamma, right? Eh? Dhamma is not a joke, eh? The, you should not take as a Dhamma joke. Dhamma is not for the cracking joke. But they, there are some people, they have, they make this a joke. Dhamma is not a joke. But when we understand Dhamma more and more, we enjoy it, right? By, when we enjoy something, it's not the, 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 we should not do the effort to practice it, right? Because it has within ourselves, right? So, next thing, eh? uh, each and every moment we spend something, that's me, right? Now, as a monk, I, I gain a lot of things. A lot of things means you offer everything, every requisite. If I thought that those things you offer to me, pre what would happen for me? That's innocent idea. In that's that's bad, not the. I will say what a pity, right? That's not a good idea. If I thought that uh, I I the everything that I gave pre, no nothing. I told earlier everything has a cost. The everything the uh, one seed <coughs> one what you call the the rice eat the one seed. Everything you offer me and everything I consume, one seed, I, I pay a cost, right? No, no, no one can see the, the vis visible, you, no one, you cannot see the naked eye, right? As well as the, the benefit, if you get something from someone else, now you get something benefit for me. For me. If you think this you get the free, that's wrong. You spend something, right? Just like your age, right? It's, right? You spend the important thing. If you ca if you can pay for this, the now if you, if I can pay the money for the the offerings you pay me, that's easy. But this is m more important than the money, right? Each and everything you offer me, if I thought that it's given me free, that's wrong. Right? Everything has a cost. There is some urgent middle. Right? Now, when we go to the grant visa or something, there is an urgent. Likewise, when you offer something for me, I spend, uh, take and give you. Who is middle? The merit. Uh, merit, take, give, take, give. Likewise, there, in the middle, there is the urgent. He is called merit. Right? If I get something free, I spend merit for it. Right? If you get something for free, uh, you spend your merit. Right? Your, right. That's, that's the theory. So, next thing. People who have accumulated abundance of merit never appear to them. Uh, now we have come to the point. Right? Now we will discuss what, would, what are the benefits that you are going to uh, gain in more not n recently uh, after the 80, 90 so human life spam is under below the 100 so you can count how many days we are alive right we, we I think we 
we don't allow we don't allow more than 30000 30, 30000 days yes more than 30000 days below we we allow we, you can count the 30056 yes you can count how many days are we allow right when when you when you multiply you will see below 30000 below 30000 no <laughs> you can cut the calendar day by day then you will it's, it's also the helpful for you to the yes <laughs> the the if you are angry with someone or if you cannot bear something you can destroy your egoism because you feel that oh, i i am alive oh, this day so why, why what's the purpose of being with the angry with this person so you can think likewise you can be good person right so you can use the calendar <laughs> right <laughs> right nice idea so no need to calendar you can use your phone and alarm day by day right it's easy right what are the benefits you gain after death what the thing can tell me what are the benefits but I'm talking about the people who accumulate and merits eh? no need to talk about the demerits they definitely he will go to the hell or the miserable life he will experience but the person who accumulate a lot of abundance merit on today definitely I know on today onwards you try to accumulate merit by getting leaves from your jobs right you right you, you can take leaves your job and you know after knowing this you try to more get in, um, uh, uh, engaged with meritorious deeds because you have a lot of merits see the person who have accumulated a lot of abundance of merits he never fear to the death you know the anatha pindika anatha pindika the person who assist the buddha to the create the build the jetavana ram so he spent a lot of money. He was Dato, like, uh, I don't know. The, 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 the Dato means the person who has a lot of money here? Yeah? Title. 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 Ah, it's a title, no money. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> right. So, so the person, the Anatha Pindika was a, at that time was a Dato, right? <laughs> Dato, a merchant. He didn't sell anything, but he has a, a treasure of money right so he spent as much as you the, as he wish right so he accumulated abundance of merit and at the bedridden not bedridden at the dead bed and his final time what would happen what happened the, the there are how many heavens seven heavens seven heavens yame to sit nimman rati parnimita vasavartiya chatu maharaj ke so right so every uh, heavens, the the carts with angels and the person, the gods, uh, and waited to invite the Anatha Pindika. Uh, don't think that you haven't see, you can't see the naked eye, and you question. Don't question me. I earlier I told you that there are fictions also, right? This is this this try to the person who have accumulated the merits, uh, the 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 power right that the the writers has tried to introduce you right that's why I, at the beginning i am i was a little bit uh, uh, the knowledgeable too because i know the uh, question you are going to answer right so so that's the one benefit now what would you gain now if you have Accumulator merits, uh, now see the, when we get age, uh, when you are in 70, 80 years, how many diseases are here, there, 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 everywhere, pain, right? You, if you sit, you cannot stand up, <laughs> right? <laughs> As a, the, there are so many diseases, but after death, you get a new life. If you have accumulator merits, you are complexion, healthy, and right. One, 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 one benefit, eh? the diseases are disappear, and you get a healthy life after death. 
Now you think that if you have borrowed a lot of debt, 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 the, no, um, debt, right? Huh. The, you can, after the birth, you release the debt. If, if you have more loans, if you have taken the bank, uh, you don't need to pay loan, right? You are released. <laughs> you are released. And no, isn't good? You good. Right. On second benefit. Right? Next, now you have a good wife. You have a wife. If she is quarrel with you, if she is very old with you, if you have accumulated a lot of merits, it's similar to husband. What would you gain next life? A beautiful eh, complexion, wife or husband, handsome husband, right? You can, the, the next life you gain more than this life, better thing. I know that you are very, very obedient, very, uh, what you call, very, uh, the word that I like, loyal. A person I like the word loyal. If you have the, the, the if you have included the word loyal to your life, hmm, very easy to get along with others and lead your life with other person. Be loyal, so people, right? It feel others. If you are loyal to your husband and um, wife, hmm, the other person feel it. He is loyal. It, it has a, uh, I don't know how to express, it's, it's been included so many ideas, the word loyal. So if you are loyal with something, you, you don't need to even express even a single word. I love you, I am caring about you. So no need to express it. Other person feel it, if you are loyal to it. That's the, I like that word, the loyal. Right. What are the benefits you are getting after the death? Are, aren't you happy? Happy, because the diseases, uh, diseases disappear, and depth disappear. Then the bad pains if you are associate disappear. Uh, uh, you are living with a good life, right? No, no, it's not a joke. Actually, happen the, the, the things that are going to happen. The, that thing, right? Next life, you will get lot of good things. Then what do you do? Take away. Huh? You know the only thing. Now you may have a, the good bank account, good the collection of the car or collection of the the various things you have collected. Can you take away with you? No one. There are so many people will say, "I love you. I am caring," but they will come to come with you. No, no one can come with you, right? So think, uh, nothing can come with you. The only thing with you is merit and demerits, right? So be with the merits, be love with the merits. And there are two words I will explain. Sugati, dugati, you normally you hear more and more. Sugati, dugati. You think that sugati means a heaven and dugati means a hell, right? You think that there is a located place, it's called heaven, right? But I cannot answer that question also. No, after this sermon, don't ask where is heaven, right? If, they are, if they, whether it they exit or not, the word I can explain, the Pali word I can explain. Sugati, dugati, I have the, the disconnect, the word, Dugati means, gati means gachati in Pali, go. Right? Dugati means the going miserable, right? The, yes, going a miserable path. And sugati means, gachati means going, going. Sugati means the pleasurable path, right? So you should understand that the sugati means pleasurable. Dugati means miserable. So even today we can see the people miserable and pleasurable. If you are lead a miserable life, you should understand I am lack of merit, so I should cultivate a lot of merits as well as if you are lead a 
miss pleasurable life what should you do last day i told you you should maintain and try to more acquire a lot of merits so we never meet again never means never thus i want to express this word the quotation so you think you have the beloved ones your husband children the spouse and friends so you the permanently believe in, keep in your mind that you never meet with these people again because we are alive below the 30000 days right after these days we never meet again never means never ever if you are blow your parents your spouse your children you should care about them because you have no opportunity again to meet them you will meet but not like this figure eh? we we will meet never we will not meet again right never meet right so the the moment you have met how do you treat how do you treat as much as possible way you have right right the best way you must try to love them treat them right so that's the the last advice last instruction that i can give you so uh, be with the all one with the, the loyal as well as the be good do good your life will be changed right so thank you very much for coming here so i uh, i'm very happy i'm very delighted to i want to uh, take a moment to the express my gratitude to all the people who have gathered here so uh, and i i the since my childhood childhood means uh, 16 17 years right so i had a desire i had the burning desire i was keeping watching the video the late kirin de dammananda there so i was blessed i think that this is i spend in my merits in this moment so i saw the you i saw on the youtube the videos and i thought uh, this auditorium i was imaging from sri lanka so i was blessed here to sit and preach you it's a it's a bless so i i i i am very delighted normally we say over the moon so today i am over the moon so because <laughs> i complete my mission right so i had a great desire right so uh, i don't know the i am very blessedful if i thought something i could achieve it. so right so that dedication commitment i can do so to sit here i have a birdy midnight oil so many right <laughs> right i have with burning me so this is a, if i had gone to the international school or if i had the, the luxury life if i had the the, the what you call the parents who can provide me everything uh, my parents didn't allow me to uh, become a monk also so even though uh, i had the desire to become a monk so i am very happy and i i want to uh, add a compliment uh, to the mr leslie so he uh, helped me a lot so just because of him i came here as well as the i had no connection because i am not i have no title i am just a monger right <laughs> so people don't like to help the people haven't title right uh, as well as i like the the my name i don't want to go to somewhere using someone else sometimes we have to get help but i like to know people me as my name right that's my Uh, can, can, that's my style or my fashion right <laughs> right so there are some person they say ah, i know this person i know i know nothing <laughs> uh, the only one i know the person who taught me as a professor i he was the uh, panaharu yasasi i think he may have come here and yeah. delivered dhamma talk he is a very kind heart person so i take this moment to gratitude pay gratitude to him so i i just remind him hamdurne i i want to go to samya not overseas even sri lanka if i have a place tell me to practice and because my dream this this is so uh, please make a opportunity make an environment for me so i just remind him and within 2 3 weeks uh, he told me to 
please send me a CV. So I prepare a CV and send to him. Then he has sent it to Pustal Vinita Teru. You know very well him because he also was here. So he has recommended through the committee and my brother, Mr. Leslie, helped me a lot to bring me. So all the stuff, I take this moment to respect, even the, the crew, even uh, the cameraman, the, uh, right? So all the people very are very, uh, the, the good heart people, the everyone. So even the chief monk, they provided everything. So this moment, even every, everything you came here, so I am very, Bow and very respect for you everything. So came here to fulfill my uh, what you aspiration. Thank you very much. Yeah. Bhante, are we allowed to ask questions? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, good morning, Bhante, uh, brothers and sisters. Bhante is a very good uh, lecture. Okay, uh, basically, uh, in Chinese, it, what you say is basically a cause and effect, yin and guo. Uh, what I'm trying to say is actually, um, in, in, in our practice, right, we are doing uh, dana, sila. My question is actually, the purpose of life, right, like when we come to this world, it's like a seed, mm. right? Now the seed will grow into a beautiful tree or in a very, what kind of, a, a dying tree and all this, it all depends how the surrounding was uh, cultivated, they have enough water, energy, and also. My question is actually, uh, if you do a lot of good things, right? Of course, uh, we are believe that the marriage, marriage will accumulate to a next life. So whatever goods you do, right, that's a saying, you reap what you sow, mm. right? So what about those people, right, who have been doing a lot of negative, negative things until to the, they cheat, you know, they kill, they do whatever means to enrich themselves, to empower themselves, huh? do you want to be like, the big uh, powerful man in this world. So when before they depart, right, uh, they, 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 they repent. How, well, when they go back to, let's say, kneel down, bow before Buddha, or just ask for forgiveness, right? Does that mean whatever, all the bad things they do throughout their life, until the moment they did, they just say the word in Chinese called Namo Amitabha or Chant the Buddhist scripture, you know, chant all these things, right? All these things, the merits will be neutralized so they can get ready for the next life. Or it will give its continue, it cannot be just washed away. That's the first question. The second question is, when people die, right, we, we, we pray merits, we give alms in the temple, we chant so that the departed one can receive the merits so they can have better life you know, whatever that the sins they do. So what is the perception on this uh, redemptions of the okay. sins and right. karma? So I think the, 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 the question are not the, the, the unique one, that all, the com all are common. So because the, everyone has the, the, the question. So because every day we, we see and we experience the situation. So after offering dana, we, of transfer the medic. So the thing that you should do, uh, if we can the, get the merits, uh, you think that the murder or someone else has abundance of demerits, uh, they think that uh, he, before he die, he can give some money for someone else. Uh, uh, after I death, uh, you make a lot of the things uh, and transfer the merits for me. So someone can say like that. But no, everyone cannot get the merits. We, we, offer, we transfer the merits for our beloved one as a gratitude. There is one being is called the, the Paradattu Pajivi. Paradattu Pajivi. In Pali, they say Paradattu Pajivi. They are in the, the struck position, stuck. They need power to release this. 
So those type of beings can acquire merits, receive merits. Others are not, cannot the merits because they have got the 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 life. Th that may be an animal, that may be a god, that may be a human. The when you be, uh, the if someone taken place as a rebirth, if someone already get the pre-birth, they cannot rejoice the merit after death. If someone is struck, that's why we transfer the merits. So if you transfer the merit, it's not useless, they cannot acquire. They rejoice yourself also, right? The, if, the, the only thing you get with triple bonus, triple Yes, bonus, with bonus, the merits. Because when you uh, transfer merit someone else, uh, your beloved one, devoted, the, the departed one, it's multiple again for yourself. Because you are doing a, another meritorious deed by transferring merits, right? So that's the answer, I think, right? So we, we should not wait to someone else to transfer merits for us. Right, that's a, that's a, that's the thing, that's a mechaditi, right? The wrong view. So we should do, we must have the burning desire. Now you are in the past, the advice that I can give you, now you are in the past, you, are, you regularly come to the temple, you listen more and more dhamma, right? The, the, that thing you have to do, you should not take the dhamma. There are some points people get the negatively. The, any Dhamma point has negative idea, right? The first Dhamma sermon I told you the impermanent. People, when, the, when say the Anicca, people get the negative idea. But ne impermanent is not negative one. Dukkha is not negative. The B Buddha has not tried to teach the suffering. People think that Buddhism is suffering. Uh, Buddhism is to how to get, get rid of suffering and how to lead to the happiness, how to gain the happiness, right? So we should, we should the, the, change the angle we see the world, right? So you, you must be happy you are in the path, right? You have the opportunity. So the thing you have to do, learn more and more, then practice. Listen, learn, practice. You will lead to automatically to the where you want. Right, because the blessing and energy, good positive energies come to our life when we are in a good path. Right? So don't hesitate, don't hurry up to anyone, anything. I think we always transfer merits to the devas. Mm. Okay? Many a time the devas don't need our merits. <laughs> we should actually be transferring merits to the apaya worlds, the devil, the, the, yes. the lower states of existence. Yes. They are the ones who need merits. But we don't transfer to them, we transfer to people who don't need it. Mm. Is that a correct practice? Nice correction. So, <laughs> I will direct answer like this. The last sermon I told you, the, we can, the person who can tune our mind, the, the, the beings who can tune our mind, who? Only human being. The human being has the, the multi-talented person for the spiritual life. The devas cannot the, the generate merits. That's why we transfer. They can acquire merits, devas. Because they survive not the, the, the consuming food. They consume the happiness. They consume the, the merits. By consuming merits, they survive. They spend their life. In human world, 100 days, they are one day. There, sometimes there are some, even, don't ask question, have you gone, been there? No, <laughs> the first time to Malaysia, so, first time, no, second time to Malaysia, right? So, don't ask the question, <laughs> right? So, according to the, the commentaries and the, the fiction, not fiction, the Jataki story, so, there are some he heavens, the, the uh, human world, thousand days, they are one. Sometimes, uh, <laughs> I will tell you a story, the, the angel and prince and princess there, when the princess go to the, the garden, when uh, morning, this incident happened in the morning, prince and princess uh, go into the, the garden, flower garden, to 
so they are lovely couple so in, in this this story is heaven eh? so to sita yame samya so by accident the princess made it bankrupt what happened come to the human world then he getting uh, grow, grow day by day and getting old and get together and married and everything happened then she has the knowledge uh, to see the past life she know oh, i was in the heaven with my prince uh, by accident i lost the, the chance and i came to the human world so i do lot of meritorious so he inspire and he do meritorious and by the death uh, again he go to the heaven then the princess was looking for everywhere the princess Pri prince was looking for everywhere the princess uh, and finally came across uh, where were you <laughs> where were you after thousand years uh, where were you oh then she said the story to the prince ah uh, this happened accidentally i had to face this type of incident eh? my marriage was bankrupt i went to human world and 100 years after i came again but in human uh, heaven morning and the afternoon <laughs> one day one day like uh, that's the you can enjoy the dhamma right so nice as well as the hell being the the who are suffering in hell they cannot no one to help assist that's the that, that's why the we should be peer right as well as the human position is not good that's why we should get avoid the sansara right we don't know the our lifetime now tomorrow day after tomorrow we will have to live this life we have to live the beloved son right so we have to hurry up to do merits right merits will lead to the happiness life but doing wholesome deeds you uh, eradicate the roots the last uh, the greed and delusion by doing merits you lead happiness life some people wish to the attain the arahanthood at the, the at the presence of the maitri buddha next buddha but until meet the that buddha we have if if, I, if we were was in the hell at that time right so that's why we do merits that's what we should do merit we have passed is this your first birth no because before how many times we have it's miserable time we have been birth we have passed lot of buddhas sometimes you may have met the buddha but your mind cannot be tuned to the dhamma you may have been a frog you may have been a deer you may have been a rabbit so how can how could you tune your mind you have met the buddha singala there is a singala son budun dakin nati banat tahan nati is understand no right we may have the the seen the buddha and we may have listened the dhamma but we had no opportunity to the tune the mind to understand the dhamma unfortunately so try try okay the all the merits ah, i forgot eh? today is a remarkable day red letter day for our miss leslie's birthday so we will wish happy birthday for the right oh. <laughs> i forgot i i thought to express right so today is his birthday so we will wish him to may he be able to good health the long life so right he is very with a remarkable character so he are doing a great service to propagate the buddhism right very kind actually i appreciate his how he handled the the all the things one day i asked him how many messages are come to your whatsapp right so he managed everything and he did the way he deal with the 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 stuff right i appreciate uh, the, there are some when when come to the position the up position now i will take one in one moment eh? people think that uh, if uh, take a bank manager his seat and bank manager and person is two person some people the position and people they think that the same now, now if the miss leslie thought that secretary is a title his leslie is his person if you thought that secretary is same what would happen 
it's not we appreciate him we kind to him because he know the uh, this my title Leslie is the person we should take that there are some soldiers if your husband is older he 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 was a captain or major to the army not for house if he came with his title with the home what would happen it's a trouble right so i appreciate the the the, the mr leslie he has not the glued the, the what you call the attached with the title he deal with the every staff crew the the even the lowest per, lowest person his crew with the the good heart so no if if you ask anyone else the the good person in the the i never say the <laughs> overly but if you ask the anyone in the crew or the, the who is the best person who can, who is the the lovely person intimate person they will say definitely mr leslie and his wife also has the there are some person the, the at the beginning our cricket feel you know the 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 husband is cricketer the 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 wife has a more power than the players right but the the miss mr leslie's wife see no no he, if he had the power he doesn't care he treat with the staff girls and everyone very kind kindly right and he has the, i don't know the his knowledge the he has she has done hrm so he know the how to handle with the people so very generous very kind very the i don't know the however he is the best person the he has the you, you uh, the all of the blessing you all all of you fortunate he has been appointed as the secretary and he has given a good title the 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 what you call tanatura the position good position he had give, been provided so he is the suitable person he has been given the good position for himself that's you are very fortunate i am also fortunate otherwise we cannot come to and preach you right right so thank you very much we will transfer the merits for devas and departed ones by this verse in gatha and thank you very much for once again for yourself right so we will transfer the merits by saying आकाशठा भुम्मा देवागा पुण्यता चिरां रु लोकसन आकाशठा भुम्मा देवागा पुण्यता चिरां रु लोकसन आकाशठा भुम्मा देवा दिका पुण्यता चिरां रु लोकसन इदमे ज्ञाती सुखिता हंतु ज्ञात इदमे ज्ञाती हंतु सुखिता हंतु ज्ञात इदमे ज्ञाती हंतु सुखिता हंतु ज्ञात सब्यो विवजंत सब रोगो विनसत माते बवत्वरायु सुखी दी गायुको बव बवत सब मंगल रखंत सब देवता सब बुद्धानुभावन सदा सोति भवंत ते बवत सब मंगल रखंत सब देवता सब दुभावन सदा सोति भवंत ते बवत सब मंगल रखंत सब देवता सब संगानुभावन सदा सोती भवंत ते